it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm gonna show you in Design Space today how to make just big letters for a sign. So like this are, I, we are getting ready for opening day for softball and my daughter's team is the Narwhals. So someone's gonna hold a sign that says the, and then each one of the letters are gonna be this big and it's gonna be on like a cake topper stick, like a wooden dowel. I'm going to show you how to do something that's easy to read um, and then also we're going to do a backing because this as you can see is a little bit too flimsy so I want to have a backing with the wooden dowel so that each um, each sophomore girl can hold up with the stick and it you know everyone can see it on the float so uh, what I would recommend is I sized it so that you can do it with 12 by 12 cardstock but depending on the number of letters that you have. You may, in this case, for me, I opted to do 12 by 24 cardstock so that I can cut two letters at a time and it's gonna be nice and fast or as fast as it can be. There's 10 girls, so I counted out, I'm doing the and then narwhals with an exclamation mark. So every girl is gonna have a stick with something on it so that they're in the parade. So. Uh, first thing is, whenever it's something like this, I love doing two colors so that you can see it. Varsity font is just like, it's a great one for all team events, you know, and this is something that um, you can do like outside of the flow, like you could bring it to the games, you know, it's just like really nice and big. And you can do this for birthday parties. You can see like right next to me, first of all, it's big, it's easy to read and it looks really really nice like there's something about cardstock you know two colors that can like really um like help each other shine like complement each other really well and then there's something about the cricket with nicely cut letters in the right colors in what you want to say really big it just you can't get it at michael's so <laughs> all right let me show you how to do it so let's go to text and we're gonna type in, well first, I love my Hanaberry Koo. The reason why I like it, it's a nice, it's a nice difference to the Varsity font. So it's it's gonna be big, right? That is like, I used almost the whole 12 inches, I think. Um, so Hanaberry Koo is just like a nice contrast to it. So I am gonna do the, I'm gonna show you how that looks. And um, it went to Cricut. Okay, hold up. Let's change that to Hanaberry Koo. I love Hanaberry Koo for all types of materials. It's from Creative Fabrica. You can try out my um, my trial membership. It's a dollar. Uh, make sure you type in the Useless Crafter 30 as your code. You don't need it for the dollar because the dollar is just, you know, when you go through my link, it's gonna give you that automatic, but automatically, but you want to add in the useless crafter 30 because if you decide that the membership is worthwhile uh, which i have i love um then you want to make sure the 30 percent is applied after the regular rate comes in so that you pay i think it ends up being like 20 dollars a month but you have it's like spotify you have commercial usage well <laughs> spotify does not let you have commercial usage but uh, it's similar to, to Spotify in a sense that everything in on their site is available to you um, and you can use it with commercial rights so or commercial license commercial usage so you can use the you know the font to make something to sell all right blah. <laughs> okay so the I'm gonna make it pretty big just so that I can see it I want to do the offset so with the offset, I believe I went, I like the thinner offsets. I believe I went with 0.15. Okay, so apply. I may have even done smaller, but we can keep it as at this. Um, no, you know what? I did it smaller. Let me go with 0 0.10 and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I did it 0 0.10. I just like the way it looks. It's so you can see the blue so that you can read the the, but it's not so clunky. All right, the next thing you need to do is for the, anytime that you have one of these cursive fonts, you need to weld it, okay? So I'm gonna grab this, oops, no, this. And we wanna weld it. 
If you don't weld it, the T is going to cut into the H, the H is going to cut into the E. Sometimes you can't see it on the canvas because it's kind of like blocked. It's hidden behind it so it doesn't look bad. But when you go to cut it, it's going to look like a T and then an H and an E. You don't want that. You want it to flow continuously so you want to weld it. All right, so the is sized and let's make this 11 and a half. Oh, no. Undo it. You want to do both so that the offset matches your the word. So I'm going to change this to 11 and a half. Let's see how big that is. Okay. So we're going to make our screen a little bit smaller because this is going to be big. Okay. Now let's type in narwhals. Um, with that one, I'm going to go with varsity. So I'm going to go search my font. And I believe I did varsity regular. Okay, so we're gonna type in narwhals with an exclamation mark. <laughs> so that we have 10 sticks. Let's see. So, right, let, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten. Okay. Um, all right, right now varsity font is acting funky because it's not giving me the border that I want. So I'm going to go back to varsity really quickly. It was the one that I used earlier, but for whatever reason, it's not working right now. So I'm going to go and maybe do varsity letter narrow. Okay, there. And this is nice because you have the top layer and the bottom layer and you want that because you want like in this case I'm gonna change it so it matches this okay so that means um, this bottom one is the white one so I'm gonna change that to white give me a second so I'm clicking on the bottom layer and um, yeah it's kind of acting up right now Okay, so this one is blue. I'm gonna change it to a darker blue. And then let me see if I can change this to white. It is not letting me change it for some reason. I wouldn't work, oh, cause I can't see it. Okay, there we go. Now I want this one to be white. So it looks like this. Do I have it like? This is a different font. That's why you have that extra in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything about it right now, but this is what we want to do. So you see the height? I'm going to change my height to 11.5. Then each of my letters are going to be the same height. Um, and that should make this really good. Let's ungroup this. Um, we're going to move this down just so that, um, ungroup it. Just so that we can see, okay. Um, oh my gosh, design space is killing me right now. Look at what it's doing. I'm going to ungroup both. Let's see what it does. I'm going to move this to the second row just so that we can see it a little bit better. Okay. All right. Now, if you have 12 by 24 cardstock, which I love, I ended up using Cricut's 12 by 24 cardstock. It's on sale quite often. So, each kid is going to be holding that sign. It's going to look like this. Now you're going to, I don't, the back doesn't need to look good to me, but I want a backing. So what's going to happen is the backing is the white. I will just, um, I would duplicate the, the, the white afterwards. So this is how I would make this. Let's go to the, and Let's match it up. So the inside of my the is white and my offset is blue. OK, 
Okay, so it looks really good. Let me show you next, next to each other. So pretty, right? Okay. Um, so when I go to make this, this is what I would do. Now we want two copies of the white. What I would do right now is I just click OK. I would cut the blue first, OK? So the blue, the W is much wider. So you would need in this case 12 by 24 anyway, because look how wide this W is. It goes past, it goes about 13 inches. And then here's the. If you are using 12 by 24 cardstock, what you want to do is you want to click on this first one and change it to 12 by 24. And hopefully, last time it updated all the sheets for me to 12 by 24 in the blue. So let's see what it does here. Okay, it does. So perfect. I would cut out the blue first. So the blue is one, two, three, four, five sheets, which matches mine. And then when I go to cut my white, what I would do at that point is I would do this, um, go to two and apply. So all my white is then doubled. So I cut my blue first, then I cut my white. This way your, your dowel will be in between two and it's just gonna be more stable with one more layer back here. All right, that's all I have for you. I'm gonna put this together and it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'll have pictures for you. But I hope that this gives you kind of an idea of how to size things. Oh, actually, you know what, I'm not gonna go. Hold up, let's cancel out of this. If you don't have 12 by 24 cardstock, this is how I would do the W, okay? Now the W, it is, let's see how big this, 12.857 by 11.4. So the height is good, right? We want the height to stay the same. So what you wanna do is you want to unlock this and let me see. I don't know if it's gonna, okay, so let's unlock it. We're gonna change the width from 12.8 to 11.5, oops. We're gonna keep the height the same because we want it to match all the other letters. But you see how it got just a little bit more narrow? It's okay to do it to just one letter. No one's gonna notice. And all the other letters, like, they're all skinny. The W was just really wide. So now I don't think the one letter is going to make a difference, but if you didn't have 12 by 24 cardstock, you needed to do that adjustment. All right, now I'm done. <laughs> all right, let me know what you think. I will see you guys next time when we put this together and then we're gonna, I'll have lots of pictures of the float. It's going to be super cute. All right, see you guys.